Good morning, it is the 26th of August, and this is the Monday Report. I want to start off by giving you a date, November 1st. That is our open house and our first exhibition of Deeper Learning. If you'll remember last year, we did two of those, which is a showcase of all of the outstanding things that we're doing academically on campus. We look to have um, several hundred students participating last year. Our turnout for that was in the six and seven hundreds of people that showed up on campus. So as parents and community members, I want you to go ahead and put that date down that evening, November 1st. It'll be a really, really cool time. Second thing I want to talk about is our racial equity plan. This is one of the pillars and big pieces of work for the district. Every school is required to do in a racial equity plan now that we have a racial equity policy. Uh, Moore has been in front of this work for quite some time. Later this week, I will make our racial equity plan once it's reviewed by the district uh, forward facing out to the public so that everyone that's involved with our school can read it, see it, and understand it. But uh, we're very proud of this work and, and we're very proud of the, the plan that we have moving forward. Next thing I'd like to discuss is the Backpack of Skills. This is an initiative that you have heard a lot of talk about. We've been talking about it um, most of last year and we're implementing it this year. And I, I want to make sure that you as parents and community members know that one of the, the biggest components of the Backpack of Skills is in 8th grade and 12th grade, our students will stand and defend their readiness to transition to the next level. And we are planning what these defenses look like, but this is one of those things that, uh, as an educator, I'm very excited about because it will give us an opportunity to really see uh, where our gaps are, what we're doing well. And then when we look at our 8th graders and seniors, I think this will be an excellent opportunity for them to showcase and understand and really take a hold of their learning to say, I am transition ready. I'm ready to either move on to high school or I'm ready to move on to my future self if I'm a senior, be it um, you know the military, be it an apprenticeship, be it college, be it direct into a career track. So you'll hear a lot more about that this year, but I want to make sure that's in front of you right now. Moving on to cell phones, I'll take a moment and discuss that. On Friday, we on the high school side, we only had seven first defenses, so we're seeing that go down. I really appreciate that students are buying into this. Um, we have decided that that's just something we want to reclaim, that classroom time, those 53 minutes each period, that, that that must be sacred time because we know that that is where we prepare our kids for their future self. I want to move on to athletic cheering. Uh, just a general reminder to our parents and community and, and students and anyone, whenever we come to an athletic event, we are there to be positive. We are there to uh, be proactive. We are there to support our students. Uh, referees are going to make mistakes. Sometimes coaches may not do what you want, but we must make sure that we are always acting above board and acting with respect to our students, to our coaches, to other teams. Uh, we had a great turnout on Friday night at the football game. That was one of the best crowds I've ever seen, and we had students in the student section actually really doing a good job cheering, and I'd like to build on that momentum. Uh, so that's a good thing. A couple of shout-outs that I want to give out. Larry Johnson, 258 yards rushing and two touchdowns. Outstanding. Um, not looking at numbers, but I do want to give a shout out to another football player that was out there, Kalon Howard. Uh, I got to see one of the opposing team give him a shove and run their mouth on him and uh, be very tempting to make a poor choice, but uh, Mr. Howard did not. Mr. Howard acted uh, uh, like a leader and a man, shrugged it off, moved away. That kid took a penalty flag and Kalon smiled, uh, really did a good job. I was really proud to see that. I want to give a shout out to the band. They were on point Friday night at the football game and drumming our kids out and really did a good job. And it was really good to see, especially some of our seniors out there. And uh, my final shout out there is once again to that student section. When we talk about the culture and climate on campus, um, it's really amazing to see how many kids we had there. And everybody was on point. Nobody was, was misbehaving. Nobody was acting the fool. Um, everybody was just having a good time. And I, I'm really, really happy to see that. And I'm really proud of you guys that came out. And I encourage uh, anyone else on a Friday night when we have a home game, come out. You know, if it's a Tuesday night, Thursday night, we have a volleyball game, soccer match, whatever it may be, come out. Uh, it's good times. And when you look back, you know, 10, 15 years from now, you're going to, you're going to you're going to miss this and you're going to want to be a part of your school and uh, be a part of that culture and climate. So I just I encourage you to be a part of it. Now, you know more.